Welcome back. You guys know I have slowly been diving into the world of metal music. I'm loving it. Um, and I'm very excited for today's video. I feel like it's almost sort of a rite of passage here on YouTube. Um, I have not heard the band Disturbed ever. So this will be my first time hearing and reacting and we are going to listen to their cover of The Sound of Silence. <laughs> Darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its scenes while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence in restless dreams. This almost sounds like Gregorian chant, like when it was open. I think that what's that's what stuns me every time of like when you think about metal music is that even if they do growl, even if they scream, even if they distort their voice in an incredible way, <laughs> these are vocalists, these are singers, they are they are musicians who really understand their voices. I <laughs> I just need to watch this again. <laughs> Darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Okay, I'm gonna start pointing out some very, very good technical things. When he said friend and again, those are such, an N is such a great consonant to just hang out on because it's basically a hum. And so you can still have glorious vocal production, very healthy, open throat vocal production, but a little bit forward resonance um, just by like hanging on to that N mm sound. I want to hear that again. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Darkness, my own friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping Left its scenes while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain I loved when he- that stood out to me the first time. So you hear these like very relaxed breaths um, between kind of shorter phrases, um, and he sort of suspended his air there. Let me... And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. The streams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my collar to cold and damp When my eyes were stared By the flash of a neon light Split the night and touch the sound of silence. They're making such minute changes both to the melody and to like the expected orchestration, like what we're used to hearing, but it's so good. I just love what they're doing. It almost sounds very full, like very full. Um, like background, I guess, in in collaboration with the fullness of his voice. It's just like this swell of sound and I love it. Um, yeah. And in the naked light I saw ten thousand people maybe more 
Do you hear that? Oh, wow. Like, characteristically, if I were to descri describe his voice, it's very boomy, but also has like just this hint of like growl, this hint of raspiness to it. But you can hear just now he let go of that and it was so, so smooth. Let me. Oh, silence. And in the naked light I saw. People, maybe more. Do you hear how smooth that is when he sings more? There were so many colors in that one phrase. Like, I'm very taken aback by just how gorgeous this cover is. People hearing without listening, people writing songs, and voices never share. Like, oh my. Okay, so the first time he went up, um, you could definitely hear like that mix. He incorporated some more head voice, but then he just like pushed on it just a little bit to get that kind of like, ah, uh, it's just the coolest texture. Um. Listening, people writing songs, mix. And voices right now. there on voices. Like, how do you... There's so many cool colors. Okay, last time, I promise. Hearing without listening, people writing songs, and voices never share, and no one dare disturb the sound of silence. Like a cancer grows. Hear my words and I'm a high teacher. Take my arms and I'm a high teacher. But my words, like silent raindrops, fell. Echo. I know I have a lot of going back to do. I just got overwhelmed. We're going back a lot. I'm sorry. There's just so much good stuff. I you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Okay. So I'm so happy. I I may or may not have 
like watch some of the music video on mute. I didn't want to ruin it like musically, vocally, but I did want to see sort of like what was gonna happen. Um, watching this live, he has such a commanding presence and not, you know, not in a boastful way or like an egotistical way, just kind of like, I don't even know, like it's a very comforting, commanding presence and that in combination i mean you got like a timpani and like or orchestra and like all these different things it's just <sighs> okay here we go hear my words and i'm a high teacher take my arms and i'm a high reacher but my I'm gonna play that again. The other thing I'm loving so much about his voice is from the bottom all the way to the top, it is like one unit. It doesn't feel like there are breaks within his registration. There, of course, there are gonna be like these minute differences, but he doesn't, he's not changing anything. And I just, I don't know, it's, it just is so streamlined, streamlined, and so, what is the word? Homogenous. Like, it's just... It's beautiful. I can't even begin to understand how he is producing this sound in terms of like the ratio between like his true chords and his false chords because it sounds so healthy so I feel like it's not just coming from his true chords but whatever he's doing I love how neutral everything still is he's occasionally will like scrunch up his nose which is so smart to like get that resonance forward, which I imagine is a great way also for singers. Actually, now I'm kind of like thinking, here's my theory. <laughs> okay, whenever, I mean, cause obviously it's one thing to use your true folds and then I think false chord singing is completely different. Um, I imagine when you are combining the two, there is a lot of dexterity involved and most importantly, I imagine singers want to do everything in their power to prevent strain, on, especially on their true folds. And so, so just by, yeah, by putting, um, by putting that resonance forward, I think that's a great way to do that. We, we tell singers to do that all the time, especially when they're finding and developing their mix, because the more headspace and forward resonance you can take advantage of, the less pressure you're going to be putting on your neck and on your larynx. And so I wonder if that's one of the, re it's like a technical thing that he's doing to prevent strain, to make sure he still gets that glorious, big, boomy sound and that raspiness and does it in a way that is sustainable. I don't know. Of silence I also love that I love seeing an artist do like 
such a gracious bow or an acknowledgement to an audience. I think that's so beautiful. Um, wow, I never in my wildest dreams would I have Ooh, I think I like I like that version like better than any other version of that song I've heard and I don't say that in any way to discredit um, any artist um, but at the same time I think it's just it's so cool when you encounter music and someone just does something with it that you've never heard before and I think it's so cool when someone has the creativity to do something with it that you've never heard before a lot of times and I have to tell my students this all the time you know when they're doing cover songs the more you try to replicate another artist I feel like the less the less we hear of you you know so it's just when someone has just the ingenuity and the creativity to create something so different it's I feel like he was very true to the music and the text and it, it was still very impactful um, it was just so different than anything I'd heard before Wow okay his voice his voice is so stunning I love how full and how rich it is I love what he's able to do with it throughout the entirety of his range it sounds so healthy and it's so captivating so I'm learning with a lot of metal bands generally there isn't just like one song that is the summation of who they are or their work um, but I am curious to hear something to just to hear more of his voice Wow okay I'm done <laughs> Thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.